Hey peeps, what's up? Manchi here, back with another video. And in this video, I'm going to show you 20 plus first things to do if you've gotten your hands on a brand new Pixel 9, Pixel 9 Pro, or the Pixel 9 Pro. Excel, of course, if you do feel we've missed out on a super important feature which you would like to let us know about, make sure you mention it in the comments on this video. The video is divided into chapters, links can be found in the description and without any further delay, let us get down to business. The first thing we're going to do with our Pixel 9, the Pixel 9 Pro or the Pixel 9 Pro XL is to apply an OTA update for the security Google Play system update and update all the applications from the Play Store because out of the box you get the July 2024 security update and the Play system update is from March 2024. So we're going to go into settings then you will go into security and privacy. Here and scroll down go into system updates and tap on security update bam there it is you can see I do have a security update available and hopefully this is the one from August 2024. Similarly you can go back and then you will go into Google Play system updates and here and also you should have a play system update. There it is. I do have one available. We are going to select download and install. Now how do you get to update all your applications? Well you will go into the Google Play Store. Then on the top right either you will have your picture or the first alphabet of your name we're going to tap on this and then we will go into manage app and devices herein go into updates available section and we are going to select update all so this is going to update all the applications which do need to be updated on your pixel 9 the pixel 9 pro or the pixel 9 pro excel the next thing we're going to do with our pixel 9 pixel 9 pro or pixel 9 pro excel is to create an ai wallpaper because google io for the year 2024 was all about ai so press and hold on the empty space on your home screen go into wallpapers and style scroll down go into more wallpapers you'll see the option of ai wallpaper here are different themes which you can choose from let us choose the soft focus theme and of course if you want to change the theme you can tap on the word soft focus on the top and switch between the different themes here in whatever word you see underlined is something which you can change so let us say we tap on butterflies and we now choose fireflies and instead of muted natural we say red and now we're going to say create wallpaper of course you have to say let's go when you create an ai wallpaper for the first time on your pixel 9 pixel 9 pro or the pixel 9 pro excel and here are four different wallpapers which the ai has created for us and whichever one you like tap on the check mark on the top right we are going to say set wallpaper home and lock screen both and bam here it is this is our new ai wallpaper which we just created working like a boss on the home screen and on the lock screen of our pixel 9 while we are on the topic of ai do not forget that your pixel 9 series comes with its own text to image generator called pixel studio and in pixel studio you can get creative get ideas or if you want to just kill some time that is also something which you can do in pixel studio so make sure you do check out this new ai tool on your pixel 9 series and that's not it for the ai features on your pixel 9 you can then open this picture which you just created with pixel studio in google photos and then we can go into edit and then tap on this icon on the bottom left which is blinking at us this is magic editor once you go into magic editor and you tap on this edit icon on the bottom you can actually auto frame this picture so ai is going to kick in and it will create the best picture which it thinks with respect to framing and give you a bunch of different options so here it is these are the different options which it has given us and you can always check out the og or the original image by pressing and holding so this here is the original image and this here is an auto frame option which we were given and if you want to save it tap on save and say save a copy now in this picture, I do not like how Master Yoda looks. So 
do you know you could actually change that as well so we'll go into edit then tap on magic editor one more time and then let us encircle the face and we'll get the option of reimagine let us go into reimagine and tell the ai what changes we would like to be made all we want is for master yoda to be happy and bam there it is we have successfully reimagined the looks of master yoda sitting on the iron throne using pixel reimagine on our google pixel 9 series then if you take a lot of screenshots of say products recipes you also have screenshots application present on your pixel 9 series and once it has processed the screenshots you have enabled the feature you can search for content within those screenshots so let us say i search for jordan i should get all the jordan screenshots which i have and right now i have these nike air jordan screenshots and then let us say you want to search for any recipe which you had screenshotted you can do that as well here it is this is a screenshot of a butter chicken recipe which i had taken so the screenshots app is another great ai app present on your pixel 9 series worth checking out Another application worth checking out when you first get your hands on your new Pixel 9 series is the inbuilt weather application which is going to use AI to generate a weather report for you, give you early forecast, a 10 day forecast and other important information like air quality index, sunset, sunrise, UV index, pressure, humidity, visibility and a bunch of other pretty cool information. And no, we did not forget about the coolest feature of them all, which is Add Me. Where do you find this feature? You open the camera application and then on the bottom menu, you will see the option of Add Me. Of course, you might have to get the latest Google Play services for AR. And once you do that, you should be able to take a picture of yourself with your friends, even if there is no one else to take that picture for you. I know it's a bit cumbersome, but trust me, it is an awesome feature by Google called Add Me present on the Pixel 9 series. Next thing we're going to do with our Pixel 9 is to get some more screen real estate because this 4x4 setup is not working and we are wasting a lot of space with those big icons. So again, press and hold on the empty space, go into wallpapers and style here and go into app grid and choose 5x5. Five five. And now if I go back to my home screen, bam, there it is. You can see that this 5x5 five five setup looks better than the previous home screen grid size we had. The next thing we're going to do with our Pixel 9 is to enable 120 hertz refresh rate on the display because out of the box, surprisingly, Google has that disabled. So we will go into settings, display, scroll down, you have the option of smooth display. And as you can see, it says automatically raises the refresh rate to 120 hertz for some content. Of course, there is increased battery usage but 120 hertz is any day better and it feels smoother than 60 hertz then while we were talking about display let us go back to display settings on the pixel 9 and make some other changes as well so first of all we're going to go into screen timeout and here and make sure you have enabled screen attention because this is going to prevent your screen from turning off if you are looking at it an awesome feature then of course you can also enable dark theme if you want to save your battery life and the best part is you can also schedule your dark theme and you have options like turn on at a custom time sunset to sunrise or turn on at bedtime the next thing you can do is if you have a screen protector installed on your pixel 9 and the pixel 9 pro or the pixel 9 pro xl make sure you have enabled screen protector mode because this is going to increase the touch sensitivity and improve touch when using a screen protector the last option which we're going to enable over here is auto rotate screen once you do that you can go in and you also have a toggle to enable face detection which is going to use the front facing camera to improve auto rotate accuracy images are never stored or sent to google when you are using face detection with auto rotate screen a few other settings which you can change in the display settings on your pixel 9 and the pixel 9 pro or the pixel 9 pro xl is one if you want all 
always on display this is where you are going to do that so to enable always on display we will go into lock screen and herein you have the toggle to enable always show time and info and this is going to enable always on display then the other thing you can change is your lock screen shortcuts so out of the box they are set to device controls for the left one and wallet for the right shortcut however let us say i want the left one to be flashlight and i want the right one to be qr code scanner once i do this and now if i go to my lock screen on the pixel 9 here it is on the right we have qr code scanner on the left we have our flashlight lock screen shortcut for our next set of first things to do with your brand new pixel 9 pixel 9 pro or the pixel 9 pro xl we are going to go into settings then we're going to go into notifications and here in go into notification history make sure you enable notification history so that in case you get any notification and you missed it you can actually come back to this page to see your notification history or you will also get the option of notification history on the bottom left of your quick settings tile staying in notification settings here and if you scroll down you will see an option called flash notifications now this is for those of you who miss led lights on your smartphones this is a workaround not a perfect solution but a good workaround so you can have the camera flash and once i enable this and i tap on preview bam there it is every time i get a notification the led light on the camera is going to flash similarly if your phone is facing up then you can say screen flash tap on screen flash choose a custom color select done tap on preview and bam there it is every time i get a notification my screen is going to flash red and another setting which you want to enable in your notifications is the toggle to allow notification snoozing which is going to let you snooze notifications for one hour two hour and trust me it is a very handy feature if you do not want to be disturbed by a specific notation right then but you do want to take care of it after a few hours next up out of the box if you press and hold the power button on your pixel 9s then gemini is invoked however if you want to go back to the old school style of pressing the power button for your power off menu then all you need to do is go into settings and from the settings main page tap on search settings herein we are going to type in the word power as soon as you type that you will get the option of power menu in system and gestures select this and we selected power menu now if i press and hold the power button i get the power menu from wherein i can power off restart my device instead of activating google gemini and before you ask me hey manji then how do i invoke gemini well there is a fix for that so we'll go back into settings tap on search settings and herein you need to search for swipe once you do that you will see an option called swipe to invoke assistant we're going to enable this toggle and now if i swipe from the edges that should invoke google gemini here it is google gemini in the building then another strange decision by google is to not enable battery percentage out of the box so we're going to fix that as well we will go into settings from the settings main page go into battery here and you have a toggle for battery percentage and bam there it is i do have the battery percentage in the status bar of my pixel 9 over here and if you want to add a battery widget as well onto your home screen you select battery widget and then you say add to home screen there it is that is our battery widget showing us the battery percentage for our pixel and if you have other pixel devices like say the pixel watch the pixel buds the pixel buds pro those are also going to show up in this battery widget on your pixel 9 pixel 9 pro or the pixel 9 pro xl next up my pixel 9 right now is in vibrate mode but i do not have any notification of that in the status bar so to fix that go into settings sound and vibration scroll down you will see a toggle for always show icon when in vibrate mode and bam there it is you can see that we now have a icon in our status bar which tells us that the pixel 9 here is in vibrate mode
Then did you know you could actually double tap on the back of your Pixel 9, Pixel 9 Pro or the Pixel 9 Pro XL and let us say take a screenshot or even open Google Assistant or a specific application. How do you do that? Well, you go into settings. From the settings main page, go into system, go into gestures, quick tap to start actions. This is the option which we are looking for. Enable this and you can say take a screenshot, access your digital assistant, play or pause media, toggle flashlight, show notifications, recent apps, open a specific application and also you have a toggle to enable required stronger tabs. The next thing I recommend you do with your Pixel 9, Pixel 9 Pro, Pixel 9 Pro XL is to customize the quick settings to your personal taste. So swipe down once from the top, swipe down one more time. You have this pencil icon on the bottom right, select that and now you can customize your quick setting tiles. On the top are the tiles which are there right now. On the bottom are the tiles which you can actually add. So me personally, I always like to Take this location tile and bring it over to the first page because I use this a lot and you can customize it to your liking once you're done. Tap on the back button and bam here it is. This is my active quick setting tiles and as you can see we have successfully added the toggle to enable or disable our location on the fly just by a swipe down from our status bar. Then a frustrating thing about face unlock on the Pixel 9 series is the fact that even after the device has been unlocked successfully, it might still stay on the lock screen and you have to swipe up explicitly to go to the home screen. So how do you fix that? Well, you need to go into settings. From the settings main page, go into security and privacy, go into device unlock, fingerprints and face unlock, enter your pin and then we're going to go into face unlock and here and make sure you have enabled the toggle to skip the lock screen. Our last first thing to do when you get your hands on a brand new Pixel 9 series is if you choose to. You can opt out of the default arbitration agreement which you entered in with Google when you first got the Pixel 9 series and do note you have only 30 days to opt out of this arbitration agreement and before you ask me hey Manji, what does this arbitration agreement imply well for one you cannot be part of a class action lawsuit against Google so if you do choose to opt out of this arbitration agreement you have 30 days from the purchase of your device to opt out of this arbitration agreement. I will leave the link in the description of this video if you do want to opt out. And there it is peeps, those were our first things to do when you get your hands on a brand new Pixel 9, Pixel 9 Pro or the Pixel 9 Pro XL. Of course, if you do have a pro tip for us, please leave it in the comments on this video.